Hey everyone, welcome back to BTM Scale Modeling. And I did this quick build. It was uh, it's a birthday present for uh, my dear friend's daughter, their family, and me. So she was always asking the little the young lady was always asking if I was ever going to build something for her. So henceforth, um, fellow modeler Mark, thank you, thank you so much for. 3D printing these and allowing me to get them. I, I really do appreciate it and I just want to make sure that you get the get the things that you most honorably deserve because that is such a great um, print. And I will not say the character's name. I think his face is well known. I'm not real sure on um, the copyright but I think he's pretty well known. And I will show the lights on but I won't do anything else because again what I added to it the, the sounds might be copyrighted so please forgive me if you guys would like to know I will um, do just a video that I can email you so you guys can hear it but like I said I don't want to make this video get all the sounds done and then at the at the end of it uploading oh by the way copyright infringements copyright you can't do this you can't do this and I don't want to mute it so with that if you are new to my channel please hit on the subscribe button Click on the little bell, and I'll, you'll know every time I upload. And again, I really, really appreciate all you guys, all you guys and ladies. I really do. It means a lot. I, I love being able to share this with all of you. And with that, if you do have a question on how I did something or why I did something, or hey, Buck, what the heck were you thinking? Or hey, Buck, try this. Or hey, Buck, can you do a video just on that technique? I would leave it in the comment section. I usually answer within 12 to 24 hours. And I'd be more than happy to. So with that, uh, let's get to let's get to the bench and see what I got done this week. Good morning, Tuesday! Yay, back to work. I I did work yesterday. Um, yes, this is not the discovery or the Axonar yet. Um, trust me, I will be working on those. But I um, got these from a good friend, Mark Shook, who printed these for me. He and I really liked them because these are going to be birthday presents. Now, um, as you can tell, this is Jack. You've seen the pictures before. And what I'm doing, first off, I made a base so it holds them a little better. Um, but I'm getting ready to do this guy, the one that I just showed you, like this, do that pen strip you see in the movie. And I have been working on the touch-ups, but yes, very, very, very happy so far with that. And so that's what I'm working on. Hopefully I can get the painting done today. The base is pretty well good to go, but I got to get painting done. But uh, hopefully I will have this done today, if not tomorrow morning. And then it's back to Axonar and Discovery. So guys, I will come back and share with... Let me get back on camera, Jack. Get them and... Um, first of all, I Google. So I masked off the white pinstripe area. And I don't know if I told you guys, but... I have this Tamiya curved masking tape and this stuff bends really really nice and it works really 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 well so that's what I'm using here so now I'm gonna get uh, get the mask one more time make sure there's no loose ends gonna all touch down and uh, get some paint on so I shall return well, good morning it's Wednesday and yes getting back to work I'm hoping my plan is to get it all painted today and get the base taken care of so then I can um, start doing for the base that I'm going to do with Christmas lights and trees and get um, get that going because I'm going to have to use sculpt -a mold uh, to give it a little texture but first thing I got to do is get these this guy wrapped get I glossed it so I could protect the paint and I'll go and do touch-ups after I get this part taken care of but that way the, the paint is all taken care of down here while I'm messing with it so um, let me get him masked off and I'll be back. All right, uh, he is definitely masked off now. So now I'm going to do a little bit more white. Um, I did do the pre-shading just to give a little hint and then, um, yeah. And, uh, so let me get him, uh, I, and I'm doing a flat coat because when I get this all done, I'm going to do a, uh, satin clear varnish, give a little bit of shine, but, uh, let me get this guy worked out, and uh, I'll show you what he looks like when I get done. All right, guys. Well, that's done, and I've let this dry. I was looking for things to start working on the base, but uh, 
Let's get this masking tape off. And yes, I went nuts with it. So, but, and I still have some touch-ups to, I still have more painting to do. Um, and mainly right here. So, you off. Lots of, and just like I said, a few touch ups, but come on. Okay. Sometimes a masking tape has a mind of its own, but that's another reason why I went ahead and sealed in the colors. Um, just to protect them so I didn't accidentally pull any off and have to retouch that up but Not bad, I like that. So, um, I'm gonna get the mask off the other one and I'm gonna get some work done on the base and uh, make sure these guys get a good enough chance to dry before I start fiddling with them again. So, as I get, I will be back when I have more to show. Good morning, Thursday, and yes, Jack is on his base. So, everything I got in, and I will share that with you here in a minute, but the one thing I decided to do for this base, unlike others, is um, I wanted to make sure, even though I'm going to do some diorama building, I wanted to make sure that this part, which, let me get in camera, this part I put in small screws, so if it ever does, you know, need to move or they, you know, they need the sound change on the board, and I'll show you that, then I can get these off and then pull him up in that. But, uh... Yeah, so let me get the other board or the other base up here and I'll, I'll show you the board. Okay, so here's the other base. I always do, if I can, I try to do two. Um, but this is the soundboard. And you can, and I got introduced to it by watching another fellow modeler on Interstellar Modeler. Um, he was looking for something to, to add some more character to his amazing builds and he talked about this board, so I got it from electronics123.com. It is a USB. It's 300 seconds or 5 minutes. Um, it does have four momentary buttons to do the sound. It works with Windows 10 and 7 compatible. Um, really cool. Really cool. And I would love to share what I put in there, but um, there's a lot of things I, I'm going to leave out in this video because yeah, I'm not very sure on the copyright. So... Instead of it getting rejected when I upload it, um, I'm just going to leave certain things out because, like I said, I just don't know about the copyright. So, first thing I got to do is get everything ready to go. And, um, yeah, the fun. So, I've already got the switches done. Um, this is the on off to control, which reminds me, I need to show you this. It controls these decorative lights. I got these 9 to 12 volts, and, or 12 to 18 volts, so it's really cool. And um, I got them from Evans Designs. Very, I'm very, very flattered. I'm very happy with them. I really like using their stuff. I mean, I use a lot of things, but um, for the things they do, it's, it, you know, it's really great. And 
I learned about Evans from another fellow modeler, Aztec Dummies. So guys, um, if I don't have something you're looking for, please, please go and check out all these other great awesome model builders. But So I got to do that and um, I didn't want to have to do the plug, you know, direct power, but I forgot that I got the 12 to 18 volts instead of, you know, 9 volt um, lesson learned. But, um, so that's what I'm going to do. i got to get the switch ready and get everything in, and I'll come back and I'll share that with you when I get it done. Okay, so first thing I would suggest always doing after you get stuff loaded on, go and test which button does what. And the kind of, you know, you can do it any order you want, you know, once you get bigger. Once it's all set up and you want to go, okay, this one first, this one next, this one. So make sure you go back and label. And the other thing, this is, hammer down. This is the momentary switch that comes with it. No problem. I got even a cooler one. So that's one thing I'm going to do. So now I'm going to get everything in as um, far as the switches and the power supply and then get going on this. And it's, you know, it's, it'll be fun. But uh, yeah, let me get it going on this so I can get this um, all get get this all set up and start working you know getting the base and then get back to the discovery and the accent our ships while these are drying but so let me get this set up and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done computer all right guys got it done I had to do a couple of fixes on the other base too um, but this is how I did it so I took I was, like I said I wanted to run these off a 9 volt battery but I, I messed up when I ordered but that's fine Actually, it looks even better this way. So the plug and this switch on. Then I put in the three mo um, momentary switches. But what I did is, instead of gluing bo the boards down like I usually do, I just put some Velcro um, patches on it so I could peel it up and take it off. And that way I have enough room if they want to load their song. Same with the speaker. So if they want to, you know, if they ever ask me to change what's on there, I can. Um, and then, show you this. So, uh, yeah, still getting my woodworking down, but so the back of the thing, I can lift up. They can lift up. And just on this one, same thing. I just added a Velcro patch so it stays secure um, if they move it around or if she moves it around. But uh, if, you know, but it's easier to take, take and change the batteries too. So, like I said, there we go. So now the fun part is I got to go take this outside um, with the other post um, or with the other topping and get that character, that guy switch onto here and get this all squared away. And then after that, it's uh, on to getting um, some sculpt mode on and start doing that. And yes, I will be using, I, I got these to help get that effect. So. There we go, guys. So I shall be back when I have more done. All right, had some lunch and getting right back at it. So, like I said, I got the these are to protect the screws, so I don't put any sculpt mold over it. And I put this down. I was thinking, do I try something like the bricks and stuff? But I got that that to me a tape like I used here, that nice curved tape, and put those over the seam. And then that way, when I go, it's just going to be that little bit. So my plan is one side's going to be. Christmas one side is going to be Halloween um, just to get that two difference because that was both contexts of, of that show so that's what I'm going to try to re redo here so now I'm going to get some uh, sculpt mold put together and uh, start getting this down well, good morning it's Friday and going to get hopefully get all this done today that's the plan um, birthday's tomorrow so I, yeah but uh, I got, try not to hit the buttons, because I told you I, I don't want to play in case it, uh, you know, copyright. So, sculpt mold on, and done, and really good and dry. So I'm going to start working on what I'm going to do. A painting, and like I said, I'm going to do half Christmas and half Halloween. So on the Halloween side, I'm going to do blacks and um, grays with uh, a fall setting, um, you know autumn setting to it and then on the other side for winter I'm going to do um, blues and 
Oh, that's fun stuff. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some highlights of the blues, and then I'm going to use um, uh, some of my snow texture from Vallejo to do this side and this side. I'm going to do, like I said, dark blacks and grays with some autumn foliage. So, let me get working on this, guys, and I will return. Okay, had some lunch. Let this see a little bit dry. So, this is the Arctic Blue that I'm using, and here is the black. So, give me one second. Sorry about that, guys. And this is watching those buttons. And then that's the Vallejo metallic black to help give it some shape. So now that this is dry, I am going to um, start dry brushing on the Halloween side. And then I'll come back and share with you how I'm going to do the Christmas side. So, I will return. Okay, so on the Halloween side, I did a little um, dry brushing of gray. And then I hit it with a good... Uh, dry brushing the smoke and then I'll get some more texture but for the Christmas side this is what I'm using this is a ground texture from below it's really really kind of cool and um, it's not not really hard to do I just you know you can put it on thick or you can put it on light and kind of give it a brush around but what this is going to do and let me see if I can zoom in here for you get it back here let me show you so just using a brush and I'm not going crazy but I'm not putting it on real thick either and I just use the brush just to add a little bit more texture and just like that and just to give it a little bit of that actual snow look and just kind of like so and sometimes I will use my fingers too. I'll just kind of come in here and just kind of let my fingers do the work. Or my finger. And just kind of get it all in there. And then if I want to change any of it, I will go back and use the brush just to add a little bit more or take away. So kind of just like that, guys. And so... And this actually, um, it dries pretty good. And I just use a little bit of it to make sure. So like back here, if I want to get a little bit more in. and Just like that. But my finger works really good for a lot of this. I mean, no, it's kind of weird, huh? But yeah, it works really good. Because I just want to, I don't want to take away from the undercoats of the paint. I just want to help. Help it come along. So I'm going to keep working on this and I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Okay, not very much and you can still see that nice arctic blue highlight and then you start to get the texture of the snow. So I'm going to get going on the other one and let this get dry and then on to some more fun stuff. So um, I'll be back when it's time. Alright, got the trees in, got the lights strung and I will share those when it's time. And then I've got some dead tree and then um, I'm adding, let me show you a little bit, real quick, I've added some other, um, let me find the open one, of these, um, they're static grass, so you can just, you know, you can find them, or now that I've, because um, I'm doing even more, starting to do more dioramas too, for people, I actually got my own static grass gun, so I can do that, but what I'm doing is, I'm just adding here and there, and I'm still going to do the, wind, the, the the autumn leaf fall, but I just give it a little bit more character. And then I'm going to take it outside, because it's warm outside, thank goodness. I mean, it is, you know, July. And uh, just let it sit out there and get, get cured and ready to go. And... I'll put on the, the fall tonight, or after this all sets and cures and dries a bit, and go from there. But yeah, um, let me zoom in here a little bit so I can share this with you. Give one more second. I'll get this one on, and then we'll get going. So, like I said, I got the Christmas trees done and got that all set up. 
So, yay, fun, and that snow, and that looks really good. And then, like I said, starting on this side a little more. It'll look better once I get the final piece on. But uh, let me get a little bit of these finished up, and uh, then I'm going to take it outside for a bit and let her get good and cured. So um, I'll be back when I have more to show, my friends. Okay, uh, I'm out in my garage, my other studio, when I do things, but it's a little, it's warmer out here. My AC works really good, and I want to make sure this gets good and good, dry and cured before I box it up and get it wrapped for, but here we go. Just give you this kind of look. Sorry about the shakiness. But yeah, really do like how that turned out. Very nice. Let me go back over here. Let me show you that. And come back to Jack. So, Alright. Sorry about the noise guys, like I said I'm out in my garage, but there we go. That looks really, really cool. Okay guys. Well, this is where I'm gonna end it for this week. And as I always do, please have a great and safe weekend. Have a great and safe week, and I'll see you next week on the bench.